Hey, Catherine. So I had a chance to look through the deck and you got it open. Great. And wanted to ask a bunch of questions about it. Um, the first, let's talk about the score. So I saw that we had a fairly significant drop this quarter with our SUS. Uh, I believe it was 2.7 points, which is the most we've ever uh, shifted since we started documenting SUS. So I was wondering, uh, first question, any theories as to why that may have happened? Yeah, so as you mentioned, we did see a very large drop in the score this quarter. And kind of when we first saw the score, some theories that came to mind was, uh, were there performance issues that were causing problems for SaaS users? Or maybe there was something around new users using the product who were having trouble using it. And what I found after just analyzing all the survey responses and kind of going deeper into um, the different cohorts that make up the survey was that the free and new user cohorts actually saw the, the sharpest decreases. So this was a significant point here. And then what I also found just by going through and taking a closer look at the survey scores was that um, the individual questions around learnability, um, complexity, and confidence using GitLab also saw large drops. So these two factors put together put an emphasis on the kind of the new user experience and how people are learning to use GitLab and the, the difficulties they might be having there. Interesting. So it looks like you zeroed in on those cohorts where the biggest drop was and some of the questions where the biggest drop were too. Right. Uh, I know you also analyze a lot of the verbatims that come in and you theme those and spend uh, hours reading those and categorizing those. And I was wondering if maybe a new theme emerged this quarter uh, that might have been unique. All right, so, so let's go ahead and take a look at the verbatim. So let me go on down to the theme. So this quarter, our top six themes were around general usability, system performance, documentation, or kind of help in the UI, learnability, missing features, and merge requests. So we have seen these themes in previous quarters, and there were no new themes that came out. Um, but I will say that there is a, a continuing trend around complexity that's coming up in the verbatims. So complexity hasn't been an official SUS theme before, but this tends to relate to people commenting on uh, maybe their non-engineering coworkers having trouble getting started with GitLab or kind of feeling overwhelmed by the amount of features in the, in the application and things around that. So in addition to these top six themes, we also saw a lot around complexity uh, in the verbatims. Interesting, okay. And that could definitely tie into the cohorts that we saw with that larger drop around right. new users. Yeah. OK, interesting. So I also know that um, every other quarter, we measure self-manage be because we measure SAS every quarter. Uh, so this happens to be one of those quarters where we also measured self-manage. So can you talk a little bit about the difference between these scores? Yeah, so to give you some context here, the SAS survey is sent to uh, users that we source from our data warehouse, and the self-managed survey is sent to people who are sourced from our research panel, GitLab First Look. And so what I found after analyzing these two scores was that there was a significant difference between the two. The self-managed score was significantly higher. And after taking a closer look, I realized that this was due to the fact that the majority of respondents were mature users in the self-managed uh, cohort. So what that looked like was seeing much higher ratings for the questions around wanting to use GitLab frequently and feeling confident using GitLab. 
And then there were also some other uh, questions where mature users also scored higher. So that is kind of the main factor that contributed to the differences between these two scores. Uh, the fact that self-managers mainly mature and SAS had that balanced number of new and mature users. Okay, so perhaps another piece of evidence that suggests that uh, there's more discrepancy between new and mature users. Right. I know that uh, the SAS has 10 questions that every one of these respondents answer. And I know that you spend the time to break down uh, those questions and assign a score to those. So this way we're able to see a little bit more clearly um, at this detailed level where we're exceeding uh, and where we're maybe way below and wanted to see if anything stood out to you that we're doing particularly well or poorly. Right. So I would say every quarter we we consistently consistently see people agree that they would like to use GitLab frequently. So that is something that all is always going well. And it's great to see that. Um, on the flip side, um, there was a decrease in several individual question scores. So related to learnability, complexity, and competence use in GitLab. Um, so I'll go into a couple of these slides. So if you can see for these two questions, we did see decreases for, for both of them. And we saw some in some cases that um, the mature users actually increased while the new users were going down. So that's more pointing to that original point around the differences between their experiences. Um, and then similarly for learning and the learnability related questions, we saw very, very large drops here. Um, so it, it's difficult to pinpoint why, but this is kind of the, the salient information that came out of this survey is that needing to learn a lot of things before you could get going with GitLab and just the perception of how easy it is to learn to use GitLab both dropped significantly in this survey. I see that. And when I look at the cohorts here, for new users and mature in particular, can you talk a little bit about what's happening there? Yeah, so so we it's similar to kind of the previous questions. We see the score for new users going down and the score for mature users going up. Um, so it's definitely still pointing at something going on in, in the new user experience or just maybe the sentiments of new users changing over time. But that is uh, another pattern that we've been seeing throughout the, the questions this quarter. Got it. So with these questions, has it been an ongoing trend uh, that they're going down or just, or what's happening beyond this quarter looking back? Yeah, so I would say that we have seen lower scores for questions related to complexity and learnability in previous quarters as well. Um, but something that was new was just the the amount that it dropped um, this this quarter. It was a much larger decrease compared with previous quarters. And also for the question around competence using GitLab, that uh, having a low score, a lower score was new this quarter because uh, previously it was kind of more on the average or on the higher side. Okay, thank you. So really uh, my next question's a big one. So you're the closest to this data you have been for quarters and quarters um, and you've been wallowing in it the most. Uh, so we all value your insights on this. So I think what we now want to know with the score. So thinking about historical trends with our scores, the big question I want to ask is, what do you think we should focus on to continue to work towards improving our SUS score? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. I would say it's important to just continue to make 
uh, usability improvements to areas of the product where you see the most users. So very, very high visibility areas of the product. And I say that because SUS is a broad, high level metric and GitLab is a very, very large product. So we're asking a very diverse user base about their experiences with very different parts of the product. And we want to make sure that just over time, we're starting to get those areas that impact users the most so that we can start to know that, hey, we've directly contributed something that people are seeing and interacting with on a, on a daily basis. Um, and I think another thing that this quarter highlighted was just the importance of learnability, those new user experiences, but also for even people who've been using GitLab for a while, just as they continue to interact with new areas of the product and start to discover new features, making those experiences simpler and easier for them. Um, so with that in mind, I'd say we should focus on one, just improve. So improving system performance, that's always coming up, especially for merge requests. And it's great to see that we already have a, an OKR related to this uh, for Q2 and where we're going to be diving into perceived performance and also just improving uh, the experience related to that. So that's one thing we've already got planned. But I also think continuing to make um, improvements to documentation, so including more examples, more tutorials and use cases that can help users get started with the most common, uh, commonly needed features is also another area that would be great to focus on. And then some other areas that also are relevant would be simplifying menu structures and helping users find um, the features that they that are relevant to their needs. So that ties into some of the navigation work that is currently ongoing and scheduled to be implemented um, in 14.0. So continuing the momentum there and just making more progress on um, simplifying things in that regard. And then just some more general areas would just be around reducing context switching, you know, making it easier to find things, um, kind of reducing visual clutter, things around that nature. And I guess the last point that I would bring up is also improving uh, CI/CD documentation because that point often comes up in the verbatim, and I just think that's something we could take a closer look at to see um, what are some of the challenges there as well. Thank you. Those are some pretty clear things to work on. Awesome. Any last thoughts or next steps? Yeah, so I would just say my, my last thoughts would be just continuing the work that we're doing and making these uh, these improvements over time and in more far reaching uh, areas of the product. And I would just say that checking out the, the SUS deck, the verbatims, where people describe the challenges that they have with GitLab, and you can learn more about their perspective would also be very helpful for understanding um, how the survey works and how all these factors influence the score. Excellent. Thank you so much for all of your hard work on this, as always. And You're welcome. Yeah. Have a great day. Awesome. You too.